Hey, everybody. So it's the end of July for most of you listening, and you don't want to do much. I get it. <laughs> you are trying to enjoy the last few weeks of summer, and I understand. In order to keep you motivated and check off some things off your to-do list, let me share a mini to-do list when you don't have time. Welcome to the Creative Home Podcast, where we talk about home staging, moving, decorating, or updating your home decor. This podcast is perfect for homeowners and realtors who want real advice that works. I am your host, Kasha McDaniel. I'm a home stager and decorator for homeowners and real estate agents who just don't know where to get started on staging or decorating their home and want to eliminate the guesswork on arranging your furniture, picking colors, and knowing what works best for you. And it's my goal through these episodes to answer those home staging, moving, and decorating questions to help you through each step of the process so that you can see results and move into the next phase in your home life. Even if you have time constraints, a tight budget, or your kids are running around making you crazy, if you are ready to learn about how to make your life easier, then you've come to the right place. I can't wait to help you get started. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. I am your host, Kasha McDaniel, and I'm so excited today because I have a brand new microphone that I'm testing out on this episode. It is exciting to me. I know it'll hopefully be more crystal clear for you guys listening now, um, but I'm really excited. I have a new toy. Yay. <laughs> so like I said, we're going to talk to you about a to-do list. And this has been on my mini to-do list for a while. I had a microphone before, but it just, I couldn't find it. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and grab, get another one. So this was my mini to-do list item that I checked off. And if you know me and was listening for a while, you know that I am a checklist kind of gal. I like to write things down and check them off on my list. So here's a mini to do checklist item for you. Just pick one. You don't have to do all of them. Although if you want to do all of them, you are more than welcome to. Um, so I just have a little mini challenge for you because I know it's summer and you don't want to be doing a whole lot. You're like, mm, I rarely managed to get through my daily chores, right? Here's one mini challenge, mini to do list that I challenge you with for this week. Okay. So just pick one. All right. No matter what stage of the process of you're in, whether you're staging your home, whether you're moving into a home or just decorating it or updating it. Right. Or maybe you realize, mm, I really don't like this room anymore, whatever it is. Right. So here's a couple of things to look at. Right. So number one is to check and make sure that all the light bulbs are working in each and every single room. Yeah. Replace any that don't work. It's as simple as that, you know, there's probably going to be more than likely in the bathroom, there's always that one light bulb that doesn't want to work. Um, and that, you know, when you have those bar lights, you know, especially if there's three lights in the bathroom and just one of them just went out, go ahead and go change them. And especially if you don't really realize that, oh, I have two really white, bright ones and then one soft one and they don't all go together, make sure they all match, right? So you may have to take a little trip to the store and go get some light bulbs. Hopefully you have some stored off to the side that you're wanting to use. Um, so this is your chance. Your one little thing is just go change light bulbs. If they're burnt out, go change them or just test to make sure that they work, whether it's in the garage, a garage door open, or maybe that light doesn't work in there like it used to. It's like, ooh, yeah, I know what you mean. I had that go out on me too, but more than likely it's probably the bathroom maybe a closet, right? So go take a look. Okay. So if you don't want to do that one, another challenge I have for you is just set a timer for 10 minutes, right? Declutter everything in your living room, let's say, okay? Or pick a different room, whether it's a playroom, bonus room, office. Ooh, I did my office not too long ago, actually last week. Yeah, I needed to s separate and set up my desk. It was just a mess. And for 10 minutes, I literally took the stacks that I had and rearranged them, put them where they needed to go, you know, find homes for things that didn't belong in the room, um, then things like in the living room, right? So maybe there's extra toys in there and the toys should be put in the bin. Maybe they go in a different room. Um, maybe you arrange the pillows or find some throw pillows, right? 
Fix the throw blankets if you have any. Arrange items neatly on the coffee table. Dust the TV console. So just a timer for 10 minutes. Just 10 minutes, right? It doesn't take long, just enough, right? Enough for this episode. So while you're listening to this episode, you could be doing this right now, right? <laughs> As you're listening to me. So that's another challenge, right? Another task if you want to do that. Uh, the third one um, is to reread my Start Staging Now guide. If you've gotten it before, or maybe you haven't gotten it yet, and you, you probably want to sign up for that if you are selling your home soon, it's free. I'm going to put the link in the show notes so you can get it and download it now and go through my tips to get your house ready to sell. Okay. There's 10 tips in there. I even share what motivates buyers, home improvements that really count more that, you know, you should do and, or should not maybe put lower on your list. Right. So those are some things to take a look at. Reread the start staging now guide. Okay. If you're going to be in the, you know, selling season soon, cause fall is coming. And if you're going to be moving in the winter time, especially if you're a military family, this may be another time of season that you, people start moving. Right. So free read the start staging guide. I'll put the link in the show notes. Okay. Or if you are already staged and you're moving and you're, or you know, somebody who's moving buy the moving checklist that I have and get yourself ready for the move. Right. So in it, I actually have 20 tabs in there with pre item, you know, preset items in there of things that you need to get done in each phase of the moving session, right? So if you know you're going to be moving in maybe two, three months from now, I color coded them so that the red ones are done, you know, working on those first, you know, things like a budget, get the hotel stay, maybe you need to find this or get the last doctor's appointments in, right? Then the next color is yellow and those you do one month prior to the move, right? Um, things like talking to a realtor to you know, buy a house, right? At, at the new location, right? Um, and then there's the green colored tabs on what to do during and after the move. Like after you move in, what, how do you get your house set up? You know, these are the utilities you need to look at, right? Those little things that you realize, oh yeah, I have to do all those things. This moving checklist has got you covered in so many ways because we've moved 10 times in 25 years. So we know a thing about moving. <laughs> We've done it many times internationally and among the different states and stuff like that around the country. So take a look. I'll put the link in the show notes for the moving checklist as well. So little mini things doesn't have to be a lot. These are just some things to think about that you can do and work on right now, but still enjoy your summer. Okay. So hopefully this gives you started in the right direction. You know, if you need some help, let me know. You can check out my website, blue diamond staging and design.com for any other tips, issues that you may have consultations that you may need. All right. And we'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for joining me in this episode of the Creative Home Podcast. This podcast gives me a chance to help you with staging, moving, and decorating. So I hope you come back and listen for more tips. If you have a question or have a suggestion on what I should cover on a future episode, let me know. I would love to hear from you. You can DM me on Instagram at Blue Diamond Staging and Design or email me at Kasha. K-A-S as in Sam, I-A at bluediamondstaging.com.